Do you know what time it is? It's sponsor time. Do you know how hard it is for me to say bird? Bird. Bird. But you know what's not hard? Smelling myself after spraying this on me. Oh, blood orange. And creamy vanilla. I like that. That was sugar foam spice that I got through Scentbird. It's a monthly fragrance subscription service where you get to choose your own fragrance to try each month. Before committing to a phone bottle, they sent these atomized spray bottles in the mail throughout Canada and the United States. The 30-day supply nestled in a sleek magnetic shell. So scent bird allows you to experiment with your signature scent, explore the fragrance market, then excite your olfactory senses, and maybe give others an excuse to get close. In addition to sugarful and spice, I also received Roma Romantica, which is primarily a floral scent, then mellows towards the smooth, warm patchouli and sandalwood bath notes. Then also Laura Vendisa, a fascinating and lively scent with citrusy bergamot and a musky oak moss base. I love bergamot and oak moss variant. So you're interested in scent but you don't know what to choose. Their website has an easy to use quiz, and they'll make recommendations based on your answers. They carry designer brands like Prada, Gucci, and Versace, and niche brands, Parfum de Marley, Hoco de Parma, and the House of Creed. Because many of you know exactly what you want. I look like I'm naked. If you want to get sent bird, I have a coupon code in Zardra. ASMR. That's A R D R A ASMR for fifty five percent off your first month. That's equal to just over seven dollars. Again, that's Ardra ASMR for fifty five percent off. And thank you, Sanford, for sponsoring this video. Let's get on with the show. You can't stay in there forever. You're gonna turn into a raisin. Why are you afraid of me? Hmm? Because I compelled you to engage in a paracosm. Because I have a vision for you and our future. Because I can. Check my voice into your mind. You already live this way though, if you think about it. Falling prey to intrusive thoughts. You think are yours, but are not. Everything we own, everything we do, is to enforce the precepts of our fantasies about ourselves. You wanted to be younger. Smarter. Be desired. Be lovable. But there's a thing called entrainment, which is when music results in the shapes of one's brain waves synchronizing with that of another. See with live music the members of a band, or the audience itself, or in hell, the bigger the lynch mob, the more brutal the violence. Why mobs often chant in unison, and the crescendo rises with the most brutal blows. The movement of the body in unison with the beat. And beat that affects another with the brain waves of the one producing it, causing synchronous brain waves between them. The more pleasurable the experience, 
the more one gives into it. Okay, fine. I will humor your resistance to mind control. But words and phrases like music can become building blocks which are pulled one on top of the other, aligning, orchestrating, unifying into a Amorphous second voice that masquerades as your own cognitions. Psychic communication is in how the subtle, condescending tone or sneer of someone who has emotional leverage over you causes all of these secondary thoughts and subsequent emotions that continue to be a monkey on your back long after their presence has been removed I went told to think about yourself enough times to begin to think of yourself in that way Not are those your own thoughts? or are they implanted in you? let's say somebody creates a internalized, idealized version of you in their mind and punishes you if you don't conform to that standard they imagine you as this perfect being in alignment with their own values they can control your thoughts and actions by enforcing consequences when you don't adhere to the rules of this perfect so you try your best to embody their ideal of you so you become an extension of their perceived greatness an object worthy of their time have you ever tried to impress someone? of course you have but let's say you reject entirely Refuse to conform or fail to do so despite your best effort. Again, their perceivable disappointment written on their face, their shifting attitude towards you, you begin to feel disappointed in yourself. Then their thoughts about you become your own once again. And what do your thoughts begin to sound like? You're stupid. You're a failure. You're worthless. Like a beat. You're stupid. You're a failure. You're worthless. And repeat. You're stupid. You're a failure. You're worthless. Like a beat. At least with me, the contours between us remain intact. And the ideal of you I have in my mind isn't meant to be confused with the present reality, but a dream or a plan of an attainable thing. So I'm training is using music or beat repetitive words and phrases to induce a hypnotic state where the subject becomes receptive to suggestion your brain synchronization it's also called bimusicality or beat induction But some say it's not just related to music. If it applies to psychological manipulation or abuse, it wouldn't be that far from words of affirmation. 
basically benevolent brainwashing. And you'll get into that. Remember, the more pleasurable the experience, the more one gives into it. The more you synchronize in a crowd, in a concert, the people moving their bodies the most. Enjoying themselves the most, have the most synchronicity between their brain waves because they are all freely connecting to the same music. So I want you to listen to me now. Your brain waves are synchronizing with mine. I don't need to speak to you directly. Your brain waves are mine. I'm really hearing the same thing. Entering the same trance like state. And then I can tell you things about yourself. Things I truly think and believe. That you're wonderful. The most intelligent. The most attractive. The most confident. You're golden. You just need to break free of the many factors holding you back. Then we can turn everyone to gold. Do you like life? Have you ever gazed in the face of your fellow man? Both your eyes wide and felt the euphoria swell inside you and burst outward them and back at you like an invisible noodle of divine energy. Moving on pure instinct. Have you ever felt that your body had been possessed? Have you ever looked at yourself in a crowd from outside yourself? Nietzsche said madness in individuals is rare. But in groups, parties, peoples, and ages, it is the rule. Madness is the dissolution of the borders between people, the boundaries of your mind seeping into the universe outside that small compartment called a skull. Madness is on the edge of love, euphoric passion. And madness is also chaotic. And synchronization is bringing chaos into order. The euphoria of a beat. In sync in both mind and movement. With your partners around you. Euphoria is tapping into the madness of the universe. Tapping your foot to the beat. Did you know that? Although ants have individual minds, they are the species considered closest to shared consciousness. They are able to self-synchronize, which gives them an adaptive advantage that even with the same effort, they would be less efficient as a group in task realization if they were not synchronized. And this is perhaps due to them having a fluid neural network. Their ability to self-synchronize their movements makes them more adaptive and efficient as a species. Humans are considered the only species to demonstrate biomusicality, to synchronize their movements when they hear 
hear music. And music is just repetitive sounds and words and phrases. Lyrical rhyming is just repetitive speech, like abuse or affirmation. of sounds and words and phrases. Lyrical rhyming like a song. Nor a poem. On the mountain top, as the world below, where the mortals lived in fear and pain, and begged the gods for mercy and faith, and bore the burden with steadfast grace, symbol of our noble race. For in my heart, I knew the cost, no that would be won and lost. Though I sought the truth, the lie. Limits of this mortal bond and reach new heights within my soul to find the truth that makes us whole. And though my body may be bound, my spirit soars beyond the ground to inspire those that wish to be free and break the chains of destiny. For I am Prometheus. Rebel soul, you dare to challenge the God's control, and though my fate may be sealed, my legacy lives on for all to wield. For I knew that what I did was right to bring them the gift of fire, to give them sight to the mortals who were lost in the dark. Ignite their hearts and leave a spark. I stole the flame from heaven's gate and brought it down to earth's estate. For in my heart I knew the cost and all that would be won and lost. Come with me and join my quest to rise above your human nest to see. Beyond your mortal frame, and grab hold of what's yours to claim. Let's leave behind this earthly strife. And soar beyond the bounds of life. To reach new heights that few have seen. And taste the fruit. Of realms unclean. Come with me and join my quest to rise above your human nest, to see beyond your mortal frame, and grab hold of what's yours to claim. Steal a flame from heaven's gate, bring it down to earth's estate. For in your heart, you know the cost. The knowledge will be won and lost. Seek the truth that lies beyond the limits of your mortal bond. Reach new heights within your soul. And find the truth that makes you whole. And sleep behind this earthly strife. So beyond the bounds of life to reach new heights that few have seen and taste the fruits of realms unclean. Come with me. 
and be unbound to journey where the gods are found to seek the truth that lies within and break the chains that hold us in for we are more than flesh and bone and we are not meant to be alone Thank you again to Sad Bird for sponsoring this video. Remember to use code ARTRA, ASMR.